So guys, uh, for this week I will show you how you recover some plating from the HDD, HDD plates. So you must uh, heard that uh, HDD plates contains uh, some plating and the truth is uh, uh, not all. Uh, some someone got uh, plating, uh, someone don't got plating, some, uh, someone is just nickel plated. But uh, if you want to collect how the plates and recover some plating, I find some good way. Uh, you can get, uh, you cannot get uh, clean plating, so you must uh, refine. But uh, the most uh, important part of the plating recovered is uh, remove plating from the from the these plates. Okay, so the I show you how I, how I doing this. So for the first step, we need to cut cut the plates on small pieces, smaller. That better. So I will show you how I doing this. Okay, this is the clamps for the cutting uh, bones for meat. So this is the very sharp, and uh, you just take your plates and you. Cut them on half. But this is still a bigger piece, so we need to cut that on small pieces. You can use the regular hand scissors or metal or something else, but uh, if you don't want a blister on your hand, you can use this what I use. So uh, you cut the, this on small pieces because you want the acid attack that aluminium inside and, and uh, remove uh, remove aluminium will uh, free all that plating foils. So you just cut and uh, put them in the bucket. Look how, the, how it is. Uh, we got some fat plate here. Look at that fat. But uh, no problem. We will cut the same way too. So I'll back when I finish all this. I got uh, 15, 16 heavy the plates. Not much, but uh, enough for the video. Hey guys, okay, we continue our process. So today is very hot outside. It's about uh, 40 degrees with that sun. It's like a goddamn hot star. So, what we do today, we got our catch pan, we got our hot day plates in that buck. So, uh, this one. It's dirty because I got some copper in a bucket, but never mind. So, catch pan is just for case the hot HCL burn that plastic, but I don't think, think it's uh, possible. And now we add some 
35% HCl to dissolve all the base aluminium metal inside and release uh, that foils uh, from the outside. The foils contain nickel and uh, platen. So okay, let's start. And uh, when we add HCl, we need to move it move because the reaction is uh, very hot and. Uh, uh, they're gonna splash on all side uh, so this is why I um, got this deep bucket and uh, we got fumes so we don't breathe we don't we don't want to breathe that so okay let's start let's cover we need one liter of ATL Things and you see reaction. See how it's changed color. It's already started to dissolve. Okay. You see that point. You see the how it's reacted. So. I'll be back for the half hour to see what else has happened. Okay, see how it changed color. We still got reaction. Okay, after half hour, see that all that slug, but uh, we still not don't got uh, our foils. So what we need to do is add more, at least half a liter of folic acid. And we'll back later. Okay, now you see already we lost our HCL, it's all that slug. So, what I'm gonna do next, I add about half a liter of water and more half a liter acid. that that water it's a double size acid and make space for more reaction hey guys so we finish all our process with the dissolve all that uh, aluminium inside uh, I must say that uh, I need a two and a half liter HCl for uh, hydrochloric acid to dissolve all that aluminium because uh, it's a very fat plate and uh, you see that it's only foils remain already rinse that with water so I can touch it with a bare hand and look at that see that just foils like cigarette foils so what we do next we uh, remove that in the one of jar and uh, dissolve that uh, we'll, we'll dissolve that in uh, aqua regia we remove all our foils in the dead jar see that and for the next step, we got some hydrochloric acid, 35%. Not much. You add not much, just to cover that foils. But uh, okay. We will try to save our acid and here 
we got some nitric acid in the other jar so I will add little by little I will not add everything in the beginning I will try to save my nitric acid And okay, now we wait. And you see all after one minute, you see that, that reaction. We got some base metal inside. Solution start to getting hot. We got some base metal inside, so Solution start to be a green. We got our catch pan just for case the that uh, jar break. And uh, see that fumes? Try to don't breathe that. So we leave there and we back when we finish the process. Shit, man, look at how that boiling. Look at that. Crazy. Okay, it's passed about four hour. Four hour and see this. See all that foils. This is our platen. So, we got uh, probably uh, most of the nickel in the solution, just a little copper, so solution is uh, pretty green, but look all that plate. The problem is, with the, this way, uh, you cannot dissolve easily the solid see how vaporize the solid platen is very hard to be dissolved in the aqua regia so what we need to do is the boil that so the heat uh, extra heat is uh, more activate aqua regia and will dissolve that foils uh but uh, now we can do this in two ways we can do go straight to recovery if we filter these foils and uh, straight melt these foils we probably got uh, about at least 80 percent percent platen maybe 90 percent platen but uh, we also we also can do some refine uh, this step is to boil that and uh, vaporize all that solution all that nitric acid then you can you can precipitate with the ammonium chloride platin and uh, this is two ways so we will see what we do with our plate and foils, but uh, it's looking good. Almost like gold foils, but it's a chrome color. Cool. Okay. See you next part. We are see each other in the next part. Okay. After. I got a lot to work in my workshop, so I have to leave this for the three days. I don't touch it. And uh, look at that. Uh, some of that foils 
uh, I put that on the sun for three days and some of that uh, foils are dissolved but we still got uh, a lot of foils some of them it's uh, from the big foils uh, turning the small dots and uh, I don't know if you see that good but uh, I leave that I'm not in the hurry so I'm not uh, put that on the extra heat I leave that uh, more three or four days on the sun because uh, it's a uh, freaking 40 degrees outside every day I think uh, yesterday it would be uh, 42 degrees so it's hot and uh, okay I leave that back on the sun I got uh, some cool space here Okay, see that? See all that foils? I think it's need uh, more extra heat, about uh, 80 degrees at least. But uh, I try on this way. I see what happened for the three or four days.